Hello viewers, you join me inside my custom built software tool solely for the purpose of trading Renko charts and the strategies that cover all sorts of markets. It served me very well over a few years now. And why am I in here? Well, we're going to look at a sub strategy and a really neat hack that you can deploy in your own trading. And it doesn't have to be in custom software at all. It works nicely in you know, packages like TradingView, that sort of thing, very well. So what I wanted to do was just take you through the sort of results that I'm getting from this sub strategy within my system. And then we're going to break that out into the TradingView charts and show how you can build it for yourself and maybe utilize it in your own trading. So with that, let's take a further look into the strategy itself. So if we navigate our way into the system and you will firstly notice I've got pages and pages of different markets that I look at. And for this example, I'm going to pick WTI crude oil. Now, this isn't the best, it isn't the worst. It just is a good example to utilize in this video. So if we click on that one and we're talking Donkian breakouts, we want a Donkian breakout strategy. You can see lots of different sub strategies in the setup here. And we're going to pick on this one down here at the bottom. And it is a $35 block size. We've got some moving averages and we've got this Donkian setup here. And you can see the sort of percentage gains. You've got about five years of back test history here. And if we just click on that and we zoom out a little bit, you can actually see the basics of the strategy at work. When the price breaks out of the Donkian band, we literally enter the trade and we'll close out when the price goes back through the moving average. We've also got this uh, longer term moving average as a trend filter as well. Now, if we go over to the right hand side, we can see that over five years, there's been 238 trades. It has won 68 percent of them. Losses 76 and got max streak of three losses in a row. And if we look at the back test over the last year, and it's always a good you know, indication of whether something works or not got this black line running up here so over the last year it's been a really nice strategy the reds the drawdown now because we're always pulling black back a block to go through that moving average we'll see this consistent give back here and the odd spike out which is nothing too concerning now what is the big hack if we go back to um, the main um, inputs here the big hack is it's the donkin band is actually offset now again if we go back a page you can see different offsets and lengths used to create different results and it works really really well in this really simple setup so it's probably easier to visualize all of this now if we go into a charting package like trading view and build it from scratch so let's build the strategy from scratch and we're going to stick with WTI crude oil and I'm using the ticker as you can see in the top CL1 uh, exclamation mark that's the front month futures contract for WTI but you can play around with whatever you like. So we need to get this to Renko charts and the right time frame because in these type of trading view packages we need to set a time and we're going to be quite aggressive here and we're going to go to the one minute setup. we're going to turn that to Renko charts. We don't need the volume at the bottom, so we'll delete that. Now we need the block size. Now I think I mentioned thirty-five dollar block size. That was wrong. At thirty-five cents, I should have said. And we need to set that up now. So we're going to stick with traditional, and we are going to go for zero point three five. That's what I've back tested and was using at that period, but. If you're interested in learning how to set the block size, at the end of this video, I'm going to do a link to a playlist on my channel that's all about Renko charts and that answers all your Renko questions. We don't need to go into it in this video. And really, you know, it is a, a separate topic itself. You want to get good at Renko, master the block size, my number one Renko tip. So we've got the basic chart here now, similar to my system. And what did we have on 
there, well, we had really just two moving averages and the Donkian band. So I've now added on all the indicators that we need. Now, my suggestion here is play around. Remember from my system that I had various different lengths of Donkian bands, different moving averages to get you know different results, get you in faster, slower trades. Now, if we just look at the inputs here, the first one, top left, we've got the Donkian offset. Now, if we go to the settings, called Donkian offset, got this set as 10, 5. That's the crucial bit of this strategy, the 5 offset. That creates, like we can see here, the breakout of the price outside of those bands. And you want to find the Donkian offset, just go up to indicators, type in Donkian offset, and it will bring it up. And you click it on. And like I said, if we go back again uh, to those settings, I've used 10.5, you can change the colours, whatever you like to. But now we've got that, we've got the two moving averages. Now the white one, we click on that, is set to 5. And the yellow one, just standard moving averages, simple moving averages, length of 50. Now, as we see here, let's take our first trade example. As the um, price breaks out, first block, we get into the trade because it's also above the 5 moving average and the 50 moving average, our trend filter there, and we'll stay in the trade until it gets back through the moving average. And that really is it. It's as simple as that. So we use the yellow and the white as trend filters, more importantly the yellow, the bands offset for the breakout, and we action the trades. And yeah, you might get some false breakouts. Let's have a look at this example here. But look where the trend line was. It was above it, so we don't take the trade. And this one you can maybe action. You know, another sub variant of the strategy is well, we got the breakout here. Um, it wasn't below the yellow line, but we could enter it also as it did break, and we'd get a small trade, a few blocks, and close out as it goes. Back in, so there's some sub variants that you can use, but this, like I said, is set to an aggressive one minute chart. You can slow it down 30 minutes, one hour, four hours, even daily. Um, I'm going to give you different results, or if your package doesn't incorporate time, that's all well and good as well because that's as pure as it gets in terms of Renko. But the aim is to you know get the breakouts that's the key part the donkey and breakouts, and it's that offset that gives you that you know price bursting out and giving you the opportunity to capture that that movement so let's just play around with a few different um, Donkin band settings to, just to give you an idea so I've now changed the chart to a one hour uh, Renko setup and we can click on those bands let's take a look let's just say I don't know 30 10 this is gonna be a much slower breakout do we get anything yeah, we sort of do. We get these one nice ones here. We can get out. You know, let's highlight that. We can get in here. We get out there. We can buy back in here as well. Take that trade up until we get the close out there. That was very nice. Slight false trade here. Well, you might have taken one block out of the trade or broken it flat. I take the signals when they happen because over the long term, you know, the five years of backtest, it says overall, you know, it, you know, you're a winner, you're accumulating the points, so you stick with the strategy. And we know that in this example, we had three losers in a row, so we've got to build that factor into the setup as well. So that's a really slow breakout, but you might want it a faster, more aggressive setup. So if we click on those settings again, you might take it down to, say, 5.2 as an example, and look how much more aggressive that is. So play around with the numbers. You might try, you know, another sort of setup, maybe three, three, to give you an idea. You know, all sorts of different numbers. But that example we used for my system was on the 10.5, and it gives me enough to play with. In addition to my other strategies, to give me another angle in on what's going on, you know, across different markets. Um, it's a powerful setup hack. You know, that slight offset. Like I said, that's the key to this strategy. So there you go, a really simple Renko strategy. 
looking at breakouts with a trend filter. Now, not a lot of people, you know, think of offsetting the donkey and bands. They normally stick to the traditional setup. They were very popular with the turtle traders and that sort of followed through into standard technical analysis. If you look at that offset, you can do the same with Bollinger Bands. I've got other videos on that. You know, it can become a powerful breakout strategy. My tips are though, get the right block sizes, back test, don't back fit, back test the information on the different markets that you're going to trade. If you're in something like TradingView, play around with different time frames, you know, one minute, one hour, one day, see what results you get. Or if you're lucky enough to have a package that doesn't have any time frames, you know, play around with the variables to come up with variants on the strategy I've shown you. But you know, this worked very nicely for me in my automated systematic sort of Renko software package that I built. And if you want to learn more about Renko charts, then I've got a great playlist on the channel that I mentioned, and it's going to give you all that you need to know. And especially remember my number one tip, you know, setting the block size is very important. And there's a video just on that alone and that playlist is coming up right now.